This channel, the artwork and its first upload were all created by AI. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can start a YouTube channel and create your first video from scratch using a combination of ChatGPT, Midjourney and Veed.io. So first things first, we need to decide what type of videos that we're going to make. In other words, what is our YouTube niche? And for this, we're going to use ChatGPT to brainstorm some ideas for us. Now, unfortunately, asking something like, what is the best YouTube niche to go viral in 2023 doesn't get the best results because ChatGPT's knowledge only goes up to around 2021. And as you can see here, it's just given us a very broad answer about growing on YouTube. But if we ask the right questions and use the right prompts, we'll start to get some more useful responses. So instead, let's try tell me some YouTube niches that get lots of views. So now we're starting to get some slightly better information. It's still quite broad, but it's given us a list here of 10 different types of channels we could make. You've got gaming, beauty, cooking, but let's keep going with this. I'll take one of the answers, say education, and ask what is a great educational YouTube channel idea? So once again, it's giving us a list of 10 different ideas. We've got languages, tutorials, science, art and design. And number seven is a channel that covers a wide range of history topics, which could actually be a really interesting one. So in the broadest sense, let's just say history videos is our niche. And now we can start thinking about branding. What is a great name for a YouTube channel about history? Again, we've got 10 suggestions here. The historian, past chronicles, timeline tales, history hub. These are pretty good, but let's try again. What is a great name for a YouTube channel about history that is aimed at young people? So by being more specific, we have 10 more suggestions. We've got history rocks, pastimes, but I think the best one is the last one right down here, the past portal. That's got a nice ring to it. And just before we go any further, I'm just going to quickly search for that name on YouTube to make sure it's not already taken. And it looks like we're all clear. So I'm just going to select my profile, go to switch account, view all channels, create a channel and type in the past portal. And there we go. This channel is now online. But as you can see, it is looking a little bit sad. And that's because it needs a really cool profile picture and some eye catching banner artwork. And instead of using some complicated software like Photoshop to create something from scratch, I'm going to use something called Midjourney instead. And this tool is actually insane. It's essentially an AI model that lets you generate images purely based on any text prompt. And you can literally type in anything like a cat flying a spaceship in 1945, and you'll get some really cool artwork back in just a few seconds. So for our profile picture, let's just type in slash imagine and I'll add my prompt as a portal to the past. Hit enter, and there you go. It's come up with some really amazing designs, way better than anything that I could have done myself. I think the first one is probably my favorite. So I'm just gonna ask the AI to upscale that one. Then I can save a high quality version. And now I'm just gonna go to the branding of the channel and add it as a profile picture like so. So next, we need to do the banner art. Now, annoyingly, AI art generators are quite limited when it comes to different dimensions of images. In fact, the widest that Midjourney can go is three by two. But I'm just gonna go ahead and add the prompt anyway. So let's try something time related like a sea of clocks. Then I'm gonna put dash dash AR for aspect ratio and then three by two. Hit enter and it's now generated four more pictures based on that prompt and in that size. And these are all pretty good again. I'm gonna go with this one because I think the landscape matches the profile picture the best. And to get exactly the right dimensions for a YouTube banner, I'm gonna quickly head over to Snapper, which is an online photo editor. And by finding their YouTube banner template, I can literally just open up my image into the template, move it around a little bit so it looks good. And now I can just download it. And that is now ready to upload to my channel with the perfect sizing. And as you can see, it's looking much, much smarter. So next, we just need some great content to upload. I'm gonna make a YouTube short for this channel and I'll create it by using the text to speech generator on Veed.io. But first, I need a really good script to work with. So let's head back over to ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT doesn't create great scripts for YouTube shorts yet because they're still quite new, but a TikTok is basically the same structure. And for this history channel, I'm just gonna go with the first topic that comes to my mind and I'm just gonna type in, write me a viral TikTok about ancient Rome. 
And as you can see, it's written a script with a proper TikTok structure. It even starts with, hey TikTok fam, have you ever wondered what life was like in ancient Rome? It also suggests some B-roll to show at different times, which is pretty cool. But the actual information it gives within the script is quite generic, and that's because I put in quite a broad prompt, therefore I'm gonna get a broad answer. So let's start to approach things differently by focusing in on one part of this answer, let's say gladiators. What is something most people don't know about Roman gladiators? And now we are starting to get somewhere. Roman gladiators were not all enslaved or condemned criminals. Some chose to do it for the prestige and fame. I think this is a much cooler fact to use for a video. So what I'm going to do is copy that answer and then type in, write me a TikTok script with a thoughtful tone about this fact. And I'll paste the answer in there, hit enter, and as you can see, this is a much more focused answer, but I think we can do even better. Write me a fast paced TikTok script using this fact, paste it in again, and this now looks perfect. Hold up, did you know Roman gladiators weren't just slaves or criminals? Some were volunteers fighting for fame, wealth, and glory. So now that we have the script, we just need to make the video. To do this, I'm gonna use Veed.io, which is an online video editor that has all of the tools that we need to make a video from scratch, from a full stock footage library to a realistic text-to-speech generator. Go to new video, create project, and I'll start with a blank canvas. And the first thing we want to do is change the video canvas to the right size. At the moment, it's in a widescreen 16 by nine. So let's change that to YouTube short like so. And now let's add some voiceover. Go to audio in the sidebar, then select text to speech. Now you just need to choose a language from the first drop down menu. Then you can choose from lots of different voice styles in the menu underneath. And now I'm just gonna copy the first line of my script from ChatGPT and put it into the text box here in Veed. And we can now take a quick listen to what it's gonna sound like by pressing preview. Hold up, did you know Roman gladiators weren't just slaves? That sounds pretty good to me. So let's add that to the project. And the blue voiceover file has now been added to the timeline. So next, we just need some video to go with it. Go to media, find the stock footage section, and you literally just have to type in whatever you need. So I'm gonna look for gladiator. And you can just choose from any of these clips. There are thousands of them for all sorts of different topics and styles. And by clicking on one, it just adds it down into the timeline where I can then trim it down to fit my video. So basically, I'm now just gonna go through and add all of the video clips I need from the stock footage library. And I'm also gonna go through that chat GPT script line by line and add it into the text generator. You can also add music by going to the audio tab and searching through the audio library. And again, there are loads of different styles and genres. It's also a good idea to add some subtitles to your YouTube shorts and you can do that automatically with Veed. Just go to subtitles, auto subtitle, choose the clip that you want to transcribe, hit create subtitles and in just a few seconds they will be automatically added to my video. I can then also change the style by adding some cool animated effects. I can also change the color. So that has literally only taken me about 10 minutes to make a really cool video and all I need to do now is go to export, export video, let it render out quickly and we can have a look at the final product by pressing play. Hold up, did you know Roman gladiators weren't just slaves or criminals? Some were volunteers fighting for fame, wealth, and glory. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. I'm now just gonna download that as an MP4 and just go ahead and upload that straight to the channel. So what's left? I can now go back into ChatGPT and ask it to generate clickbait YouTube titles for this video based on my script. I can get it to write a YouTube description filled with keywords for SEO, and I can even get it to write me some good tags. So I've now added all of that to the upload and the video is now live on YouTube. But the grind doesn't stop there. If you enjoyed this content and you can watch another video about the best ChatGPT prompts for growing a YouTube channel right here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.